Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lego Hobo 910 here with another Lego video. And in this video, I'm reviewing set number 75183, the Darth Vader transformation. And this is the scene that, uh, well, this is the set that you can use to reenact the scene where Vader goes, No! So we can. Uh, okay, I got that out of my system. I might shout it a few more times during this review, but I think I got it out of my system. So now let's get right into the review. So here is the transformation area. And as you can see, there's lots of clear pieces to represent lights and some white bits there to add a bit more detailing. And this is very rounded. In the center there, that's just hollow there. That's not a white piece. That's just hollow there. And against my white background. And... Uh, now that you got kind of a general idea of what this looks like, I feel like the best way to review this set is to kind of go through how it happens in the movie. It's one of those sets where it has kind of a pattern of how things go. So first you start off with your burnt up Anakin Skywalker here. And then you have this little knob here. And as you can see, if you push it up and down, it raises the table. You can go as slow or as quickly as you like. But also, if you turn it, you can see it'll flip the table. And on one side, we have Anakin Skywalker here. Then you can flip it to the other side to get Darth Vader. Now back here, there's this little system where you put Vader's helmet in there. And then this can slide like that and go like that. And then you can just put Darth Vader's helmet on. It's not exactly how it is in the movie, and sometimes you kind of need to push down on Vader. Because in the movie, the mask just comes down, but it's similar enough. I feel like this is a great feature. Then once it's on his head, these rubber pieces just slide off surprisingly easily. You can retract that. And back there, there's also some more clear pieces to represent some lights. And then, using this feature, you can raise the table. And as you can see, there's still a uh, burnt up Anakin on the other side there. And then... Sidious and Vader have their little conversation, and then Vader gets mad, and you can use these little bits here to knock down these platforms here, and also you can just knock down that droid if you want, and then you can have Vader step off the platform, put his hands in the air, like he just don't care, and then he can say, "No." I should have warned you, but yeah. Then he can say no. I mean, no! And, yeah, I'm going to show you some of these little side builds here now. So our first side build, which you can knock off here, is this probe droid here and lightsaber rack. And they're just making the probe droid look like it's flying using this little clear piece. Though this arm here is very, very loose, and it tends to pop off sometimes when you drop it. So... I wish they would have chosen a tighter piece, or maybe uh, mine is just oddly loose. Because this is very wobbly, and like as you can see, if I tilt it, it just moves. And then it's shaped up nicely with these silver grill pieces, and that's actually the only thing knocking it off. If this wasn't here, then it wouldn't actually be able to get knocked off. As you can see, there's one red and gold lightsaber, and one silver and red lightsaber here. And the red and gold one is for Sidious, or Palpatine. And then the other one goes to Darth Vader. And I know his uh, hilt isn't actually gold, but I, it's a good way to kind of differentiate them. And yeah, overall, this one's pretty cool. Let's just take the probe droid off for a little better of a look. It's a fairly simple build, but it looks really nice. And so now, yeah, also sometimes this clear antenna piece pops off. So now we have... Our other medical droid here. And as you can see, he's covered in a bunch of tools. They didn't actually give him anything medically specific. They just gave him kind of a bunch of tool pieces for his arms. Which I'm fine with, because then they would have to remake all of... They would have to, like, make new molds and such. And this is the way that you're supposed to put them in all officially, the way that it says in the instruction book. Though it's actually slightly different on the box, there are actually three extra tools... You have the screwdriver, which I think would actually look a bit better as kind of a probe. And then you have this cross thing. I don't know much about tools. I'm not really sure what that is. 
and then you have the other wrench. As you can see, he's just holding this, oh gosh, I forgot the name, it's a type of wrench here, the drill, an oil can, this uh, kind of gear locky wrench, I don't know why they want that one upside down, this open wrench, and this hammer. There's also two little kind of blood bag things, which you see him actually crushing the movie when he gets mad and everything breaks. And then the top of the head here just has this kind of singular eye going all the way around it, and it can also rotate here. Don't really see the need to have it rotate, but it can. Then you can just bring all these tool arms up and down independently. You can also move these little glass container blood bag things if you would wish. Our first minifig here is another metal medical droid, and I think you could just, you know, give him some tools, and that would make him look a bit better. And I like their way that they tried to recreate the tripod, because if you look closely in the movie, it's more so just kind of a claw like that, evenly spaced out. Obviously, this isn't perfectly evenly spaced out, but I think it looks better than just not making it the tripod. And overall, he's a fairly simple robot here. And they have a gunmetal gray stud on the top there, which is actually a new piece. Comes with an extra one as well. Let's give you a better look at that. It's in gunmetal gray. And also, if you tilt this a bit too much, his hips break off because just using that clear piece. Yeah, overall, he was a very interesting build, to say the least, because you weren't just using generic battle droid bodies and such. It's very brick built up. The only things that are actually droid pieces are those legs and those arms. The rest is just completely built up, which was a very interesting experience. Now we have a new version of Burnt Up Anakin, and many people I've noticed have wondered what those silver limbs are for. Those are for when they attach the prosthetics, they're not meant to be kind of invisible. I think it would be cool if they used transparent pieces there to make it look like there is nothing there. That would have been very cool. And he is very well detailed, wearing all the black cloth there, and you can see all the scar tissue and such. The back of the head is very scar tissue as well, and the face there. And now let's move on to the next minifig. This minifig is very cool, but there really isn't much to say about it. That's why it didn't take very long to review him, because it's not much to say about him. But let's move on to the next one now. No! I mean, yes! We have Darth Vader now! This is the newer style of Darth Vader here. And as you can see, there's some nice printing on the front there. He has the newer style cloth cape, which lets me easily flip it off to reveal absolutely nothing on the back. Which I feel isn't that bad. I wish they would have put something on the back, but not that mad about it. And then here is the helmet, which is very well sculpted looks very nice. The front is a little long looking and I'll explain that reason in just a second. And that reason is because with the new Darth Vader's here, the helmet's actually two pieces. I've seen a lot of people complain about how that sticks out a bit more. It really doesn't bother me that much. It does look slightly funny though. But yeah, the new helmet is actually two pieces here. One that goes around the neck and one that goes there which can replicate the scene where his mask is put on very easily. And also, when Luke takes off his helmet, there's this little piece there. And this is the exact same head that is used on the burnt-up Anakin figure here. Or, the box actually officially just calls him Anakin Skywalker, but I like calling him burnt-up Anakin. But yeah, it's the exact same head as you can see. There's absolutely... Nothing different about the heads. They're exactly the same. Yeah, overall, he's a very cool minifig, and I like this two-piece helmet. It is really cool, and then, you know, you can have the more accurate helmet there. So, yeah, overall, I really like that. And let's move on to Emperor Palpatine. Here is Emperor Palpatine. And he has very nice line detailing there for the front. Just using this hood. Let's take that off. So you can see his face there. Then he has a second face here which makes him look more angry. Here's the other face again. The happy face. Whoa, he looks like an emo when you just cover half his face there. Yeah, there's the other face. Again. And then he has the newer cloth cape as well. And if we flip that up, once again, there's absolutely nothing, which, once again, I'm pretty fine with because 
it's going to be covered mostly with the tape anyway. Yeah, overall, he is a very cool minifig, and there really isn't much to say about him, just like with the Anakin Skywalker minifig. There isn't much to say about him, even though he's really cool. Overall, this set is really cool and has a nice selection of minifigs, and a surprising amount for the price as well. This set is... Uh, I picked it up for $25 at my local Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's actually 30 So it has a decent amount of minifigs if you count this droid as a minifig, which technically the set doesn't count as a minifig, but I do. So four minifigs for this price is fairly good. Well, really good. And it's also a really cool-looking set with great features. And it's just really cool. Great way to get the new Palpatine, the new Anakin, uh, and the new Vader. All for a fairly cheap price. So overall, amazing set and peace.